Hello everyone and welcome to Metro 2033 Redux. I'm Robert Rambles and thanks so much for joining me today. So Metro 2033 and Metro Dying Light are the predecessors to the new game that's coming out, Metro Exodus. So I'm really looking forward to Metro Exodus and I've watched a little bit of Metro 2033 but I've never played the Metro games and they follow a continuous story of the main character throughout all three games. So I really want to start back with Metro 2033 and again this is Metro 2033 Redux on the PC. Gotta start a new game here and dig into the story so that we can get into the new one when it comes out. So we're gonna do hopefully the trilogy starting here. Let's go ahead and jump into a new game. Well before we do that a little bit about me if you're new to the channel. I tend to try to be thorough as much as I can. Uh, by no means am I a completionist, but I do like to spend time and really get into the story, the environments, the atmosphere. I like to read anything optional that I can to give me information about the lore of the world or the history or the characters. So I hope that's uh, your thing to kind of get immersed into the universe here. I think that's the best way to enjoy games. On that note, I'm going to set the mood here, which means lights down and volume up. Okay, so choosing our play style here, we can go Survival or we can go Spartan. I think we're going to stick with Survival, uh, which is more interesting to me in this kind of game. So Survival with ammo and filters and short supply, deadlier combat and more challenging stealth. Survival style offers players the original survival horror-oriented experience of Metro 2033 with an emphasis on resource management and tense combat. Yeah, that's definitely what we want. Let's just read Spartan to see what that is. Enjoy a more forgiving combat stealth experience of Metro Last Light. When Spartan style is selected, perfect for players who like faster paced, more action oriented gameplay, ammo, filters, and other. Okay, so we're gonna go with survival. They say that's how the game is supposed to be experienced. And we're gonna go with that. Uh, normal, hardcore, or ranger. I'm gonna go with normal. I like first person shooters, they are by no means uh, my best genre coming from a background of mostly RPGs, turn-based, stuff like that. We're gonna go with normal. If that becomes too easy, I'm thinking we can probably crank that up at a later time, but it's no fun for you guys to watch me get annihilated over and over again. All right, let's adjust the gamma here. I'm gonna leave it one click above where I think it should be for me, just because I know that YouTube can darken things. Let's go with that, that seems okay. The tunnel grew colder. Miller and I were close to the surface now. Soon, we would climb up into the howling wind to fight our way through whatever nightmares were waiting there. My long journey was nearly at the end. But would I have the courage, the will to see it through? All right, let's see if we hey, do. Artyom, when you left your home station, did you ever think we'll end up in a place like this? Not knowing whether we were about to save our world or send it straight to hell. That's gonna come undone. Gotcha. Thank you, sir. Ooh. We'll have to get through the military outpost to reach the surface, Artyom. Shh, tiho, 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 tiho. Something's moving in the next room. Open the gate, I'll cover. Okay, let's check a few settings here. Okay. I do want this on. I know everyone has their preferences. Let's check sensitivity. Turn it up just a little bit. And I usually play inverted. We'll see if that tends to be the case here or not. Alright, well, that feels a little weird, but... 
Yeah, let's change that back. Maybe I don't play inverted anymore. Let's leave that alone for now, shall we? Up is up, down is down. Let's go. Shit is always breaking down in here. Use the auxiliary hand system to open the gate. Alright. So, in other words, this isn't going to do anything, I take it? We were already at the hand crank. Let's try this one. Oh, what do we got here? New note. Note 1. There's nobody among the Order's fighters who'd ever lived at the ex exhibition. Why would they risk their lives to save us? Total strangers to them. What for? Perhaps they, just as I do, believe that the Dark Ones are a threat not just... Not for just our god-forgotten backwater station, but for the Metro as a whole? That, I don't know. But one thing I know for sure, I can't watch these people and not feel admiration. They couldn't care less which station we hailed from, which god and which politics we believed. The one thing they actually cared about was that we were human beings and we were in danger. When joining the Order, one vows to protect the Metro, the last refuge of the human race, to the end. Some of them believe they can prevail. A lot more think we'll all, we're all doomed regardless. But they don't even think of laying down their arms and giving up the struggle. Such were Hunter's comrades, and it would be the highest honor for me to become one of them. Okay. Um, I'm wondering if that's a note from us. Yeah, so this must be us narrating all these notes, because there's our prologue. So anytime we pick up a note, even though we're picking them up, I guess that's a note that we're taking uh, from our perspective. Good to know. I don't remember seeing these when I watched the original game playthrough. Uh, what I did see. I don't remember those notes at all. So I feel like in the Redux, some stuff might have changed, right? Keep, keep tapping E. And control the crouch. I'm assuming we have to hold. Check those crates for ammo and med packs. Ready, Artyom? Follow me. Alright, so it's probably going to be pretty important that we're thorough. Oh, some filters. Uh, because playing on survival mode, they're probably not going to give us an abundant amount of ammo and other resources. So, well, we'll just make sure that we're getting everything we can. Easy enough. What's down there? Oh, look at that, a ladder, though. Oops. <laughs> Can we go down the ladder? Perhaps. You or, miss. or we'll just jump in. Well, climb up and try again. I didn't miss. I was just checking things out down here. Seems weird for there to be a ladder that goes down, but nothing down there. But it's fine. Let's go over. Okay. Up we go. Up we go. To where? Nobody knows. I feel like this is a pretty well-equipped start to a survival horror. Ooh, seems like nobody's home. Before we hit the surface, put your gas mask on. Put our gas mask on. So there are going to be areas that we can't breathe in without a gas mask. Alright. There's our gas mask. Uh, usually this is going to be when we go near the surface, which is where we are now. Uh, we need the gas mask in order to breathe. Because the surface has been irradiated. Load our weapon. Artery load. I don't like that. Okay, well those bullets don't seem too terribly effective. Jesus. They are not messing around, boys. We are out of bullets. Oh boy. <laughs> All right. Already we are injured, and we are out of bullets. I like it. Oh, okay. I feel like we could have handled that better. And these guys don't have any loot for us, obviously, being 
some kind of mutants. Check some audio settings. And tweak it down just a little bit. That's a little bit. Loud and clear. Over. Oh. The tower. I repeat, the tower. Did the group move out? Over. This looks wonderful out here. Now that's affirmative. We've made contact. I should be in the vicinity of the tower now. Over. All right, we're gonna go, but let's take a little look around first. Uh, whoa, whoa! Hey, watch where you're going. <laughs> Guess we're not taking a look around. Almost got us ran over. Who are you? Glad to see you, Colonel. Did you hear that? Listen. Colonel? Was he talking to me? Am, am I the Colonel or is this guy the Colonel? Oh boy. Oh, thanks for the ammo. Oh boy. Oh, I'm still out of ammo. Oh crap, it's gonna be even tougher without ammunition. I hope these boys can handle it. I don't even, I don't even have a, a weapon. Oh, well that ended us up real fast. Oh, we, we're not supposed to survive this. Bye bye. Wonderful. Life was never easy in the tunnels, but it was our home. There was comfort in its routines, in seeing the same people day after day. But since the mutant attacks had escalated, fear ruled the station. I had just turned 20 and could never have imagined what would follow on the morning that my stepfather's friend, Hunter, arrived at the barricade. Okay, so obviously going back in time here to eight days earlier. I'm assuming that whatever happened on the surface, uh, nuclear war of some kind, none of these places in these pictures actually exist anymore. So what we know is there was some kind of nuclear war, and the people in Russia are living underground in their metro subway system. Artyom, <laughs> wake at last, I see. Hunter's on his way in. He should have news from the other stations. Come on. All right, what do we got? Uh, the Metro 2033 books. Uh, so there is a book series for those of you who are literary. Haven't read them myself. So I can't vouch if they're entertaining or not. Let's go, Artyom. But they made a game off of them, so. Oh, you're not looking very good. Wow. Hey. Hello, Arton. The door's locked. Locked. A feeling that most of these are like people's houses, or at least the areas that they inhabit. Nobody home. We must do something. 
What more can we do? The Dark Ones will kill us all. The Dark Ones. I'm assuming that's what we're calling the mutants. The Dark Ones. Further classifications will become clear. Hello, Arton. Hello. Relax. Another patrol was attacked last night. Ugh. The hospital's full. So things aren't looking good here at Exhibition cool. Station. Mommy, do we what about need to Let's go, Arton. was on the outpost. Leave him alone. My brother is in the hospital. All these people are no checking on people in the hospital. He was okay, but, uh, oh, that's you. Wow. Come on, Alex. Hello, Arjun. Hello. Everyone knows me. That's good. You seem to like me. How are the wounded? Not much improvement. Two died this morning. The dark ones do not kill outright, but they damage a victim's mind. Mm. Sooner or later, this leads to death. Oh, that'll be important to remember. Sometimes they don't kill outright, sometimes they damage the victim's mind, and that leads to death. So, we're not dealing with your uh, run-of-the-mill mutants some of the time here. Not only can they rip you apart as we saw, they somehow affect you mentally if you do survive. Let's check out this note. Hunter. Hunter, note one. Day after day, our patrols go out to the northern tunnels and day after day they return bearing casualties, murdered brutally, inexplicably so. Even more casualties come back alive but insane. And yet it's only by sending our friends, neighbors and relatives out there that we can keep track, that we can keep the dark ones at a distance. When we run out of manpower to stop their attacks far enough, when they arrive at the station itself, we'll be done for. I hear people talking secretly at the station that assist us prolonging the agony that there's no hope for salvation. But Sukhoi, my stepfather, and the head of the station still hopes for a miracle. Okay, so our stepfather's head of the station. He insists that an old friend of his, Hunter, can save us. Hunter is a member of the Spartan Order, a battle brotherhood sworn to protecting the Metro from any and all dangers. There is nothing capable of instilling fear into the hearts of those men. At least there was nothing until the Dark Ones arrived. Okay. I like the notes. And it looks like we track them here in our diary. Alright. So, the Dark Ones, uh, at least them attacking like this, seems to be a recent thing that has happened according to the notes that we're reading and the things that we're hearing. But the attacks are getting more and more vicious. The people that do survive are losing their minds, which would be probably pretty easy living underground being attacked by monsters. You feel like you'd probably people lose your mind. See their relatives. You'd lose your mind as a matter of course. Yeah, all those people outside were waiting for their relatives, but I'm assuming we're not letting them in. All right, am I going through? No, not going through, okay. What have you got to say? Anything else? God, when will this ever end? I can't take it anymore. Ugh. All right. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh boy. No, keep away from me. Yeah, this guy's losing it. Alright. Not very good. Anything in here we can grab? I don't think so. Look at all the blood. Maybe best to get out of here. Hey. Stepfather. Right? So this is our stepdad. It's Hunter. Mutants don't knock first. Open the damn gate. That's a good point.
Welcome to Exhibition Hunter. But he looks sufficiently badass. Thanks. Now close your git. It's been a long time, Hunter. Good to see you, Alex. Hello, Artyom. So, Hunter, what's happening in the outside world these days? Not much. Most of what I hear is about exhibition and the undead infesting your tunnels. <laughs> Artyom, I met a trader selling old postcards of New York City. I thought of your wall. Oh, thanks, buddy. That's cool. These are not the usual mutant creatures. This is something else. What the hell? Something much worse. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dark ones. Well, whatever in hell they are, my order has a motto. If it's hostile, you kill it. Dark ones in shaft. Speaking of hostile and killing it, uh, can I have a gun, please? There are wounded here just behind the wall. The Kirill, take your group to the tent. Alex, Hunter, uh... we must stay here and defend the hall. Hmm. All right, all team, quickly get a weapon. I will get a weapon. Hopefully, from this weapon's. Oh, a pistol. Not as cool as the assault rifle I had they, eight they days from now. This far into this station. But we'll it's conserve. We'll conserve our ammo this they time. The blood. And let these guys do some of the shooting. Uh, where is safe? I'm gonna park myself over here and hope that I have a view of all of them coming in. Here we go. Oh, he's got it. So, I'm only gonna help them when they need it. Oh, they're kinda coming from over there too. Oh, hi. Okay, he needed it. You guys just watch that one, I got everything else. Okay. Oh, I wasn't safe there. Here we go. Uh-oh. Alright, we had a little crash, but now we're back in. So, here we go. Running out of ammo, guys. All right, tell me that's Artyom. it. Are you all right? Of course. He's a dead eye shot. This one. I don't know if I'd go that far. No dark ones here. Just the usual tunnel trash. Even when you don't see them, the dark ones are there. Fear. Hmm. That's their weapon. That's what made the Nosolises run through the tunnels like rats. Dark Ones are not simple mutants. They're Homo Novus, the next step in evolution. You've heard about survival of the fittest? Guess what? We lost. What's happened to you, Alex? Right. You can go like lambs to the slaughter. I'll hang on to whatever life I got with teeth and claws. And I'll take more than a few of your Homo Novus with me to help. You think you're some old movie cowboy? Have a look, Hunter. Ten soldiers, trained in combat. Their bodies broken, their minds gone. The Dark Ones! They destroyed the Outer Guard post. Oh, shit. Oh, we can't get a break here, can we? This is non-stop. I like it. What's wrong with that guy? Um, he's not looking too good. Oh, these guys are done for. Wow. 
I wonder what's causing this Dark One activity to spike up now all of a sudden. It doesn't seem like they're used to this level of attack. The devil knows what's happening out there, beyond your perimeter. I must go recon the situation. Listen carefully at him. If I'm not back here by morning, you must get to police station and find a man named Miller. Tell him what's happened to me, and what's stirring in the northern tunnels. Show this to Miller, so he knows I've sent you. Mm. I trust everything to you, Artyom. Oh boy. Don't let me down. Well, listen, we've seen if this we movie survive, before. If you go into that tunnel, you're not coming out. Eliminated, no matter the cost. Eliminated. Understand. All right. He's off. Hunter did not return. Exactly. It wouldn't be easy to find an excuse to leave the station and travel to Polis. But I had given my word. I learned that the caravan was heading to Riga the next day, and needed guards. I signed on for the ride. I guess it was easier to find an excuse than you thought. Alright, let's get out of here then. Do what Hunter asked us before he walked off into the sunset. Typical cowboy. Taking your time as usual, huh? Alright, grab your gear, go to the platform, they're waiting for us. I'll meet you there. Hey, Artyom! Don't forget anything, huh? Alright. So we're gonna go off on a little mission. To get us out of our station and to pull us station. So we could tell people that Hunter walked off into the darkness to scout the tunnels. The Dark Ones are attacking and he has not come back. Alright. Oh, there's another note. Oh, look at this. Not collected. So this will tell you when you miss stuff. And I will miss stuff, just so you know. Um, I'm going to be as thorough as I can, but clearly we're going to miss things. That's just how it goes. Note 1. The task of defending our home station from the Dark Ones, enemies horrifying, mysterious, and unbeatable, is becoming the sole focus of all of our efforts. We've all but forgotten our old enemies, the Nasalises and the Watchmen. And if not for Hunter, these beasts would have been unleashed on our hospital. I cringe to think of the carnage that would ensure, would ensue should Hunter have arrived a mere hour too late? Okay. So. Definitely, uh, this threat is new. We talked about Nosalises and Watchmen were our threats previous to these Dark Ones. Save some energy here. Turn our lights off as we leave. We don't know when we'll be coming back. Hey, that's some nice music. Sorry, Arto. Hey, this well, part of the station is under temporary lockdown. Okay. Only the guards make packs. Fair enough. Hey, you're sure you don't regret getting it? Getting what? Let me just eavesdrop on your conversation, see what I can learn. Nothing? You're climbing up now? Okay. I say, you don't really get to talk directly with people, but if you're near people, uh, they, you tend to overhear their conversations. Why do I put up with it? Huh? Who's she talking to? Oh, his wife. Oh, you ever shut up? <laughs> uh, he's telling his wife to shut up. He's standing outside their apartment smoking a cigarette. Perfect. Not a lot of privacy down here in the in the metro tunnels, obviously. Reminds me of Terminator and Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Sort of. Those few scenes when you're, they're down in the tunnels of the survivors. This is much more detailed. And when your mom comes back, we'll show it to her and she'll be happy. That's uh. going to be a great surprise for her son. Oh, look at that. Okay, I'll draw that. Daddy, when is mom going to come back? Uh, probably Sweet. not. I wish you could see how much you've grown. Probably not coming back. Okay, um, that's sad. Dream. Hmm. <laughs> I dreamt I was on the surface again. Uh, I don't want to hear about your nightmares. We got a good 50 years before we can go topside again. So go back to sleep already. 50 years before we can go topside again. So yeah, nuclear so fallout. That tall guy comes over and says, And baby, if my wife could cook like you, I'd be the happiest man <laughs> in the world. Oh boy. So I ask him. Can't your wife cook at all? And he says, actually, I'm not married. Nice. 
It's a good one. I'll have to remember that line. To open or hide your journal, hold M. Okay. Okay, yeah, this is what's gonna... If we need help, that green arrow down there is gonna tell us where to go next. Uh, we have our lighter. Pretty awesome. Um, yeah. Alright, let's check our keybind for that. Uh, light, F, swap filter is T, lighter and journal is M. Um, trying to think if there's a key that would be more useful. What does tab do for me now? Tip. Oh, tab, I hold that. Okay, so we can't use tab. I guess we'll leave it M for now, even though that's, uh... Not very useful dirt while, while I'm walking. Just dirt. People are filth, you know? Liars, Is that you, traitors, Pete? everywhere. What? Can't you you say it that I'm dirt? No, it's not Pete. Well, you're shit, okay? <laughs> oh, look at that. Again. Ammo. Some kind of ammo. Maybe we lost the keys. You gonna let us in? Go find the keys. Nope. You know I can't get up. She can't get up. Okay. Look who's talking about that. Hey, hey. Who's, who's there? Oh, hey. Well, just me, Artyom. Uh, yep, just me. Well, let me get some rest, will ya? It'll be my watch soon. Alright, sorry for waking you up for nothing. Get lost, Artyom. Okay. I will. But first, um, I see. Oh, I can't get in there. Exit, maybe? In Russian? I'm sorry. Lots of kids here, man. Mm -hmm. it scares me with these dark ones attacking. I don't know what I would do with my kid in a situation like this. Not very good. What's going on back here? Not talking aloud. Right. You heard me. Okay. Not sure why these guys are in here. I should go. That's right. Um, let's see though. Where am I trying to go? I'm trying to go this way. Uh, towards those arrows probably. So I'm seeing white arrows. I'm assuming the white arrows are kind of going to lead me where I have to go. But let's see. Oh, no. I was put in charge of See if we can find anything else. Could you spare a couple of cartridges? I'll pay you back as soon as I can. Um, I can't. I knew I could You tell me your son is sick, man. What else can I do? I can't not give you the money. I don't even know what I can use it for yet. But you got a sick kid. I'm gonna give you what I got. And of course, here's where I could spend all my money, right? Good weapons make good soldiers. All right, so we have a special kind of ammo that is actually currency. We could buy upgrades. Okay, what is this? Silencer? Wow. 45. We don't have that kind of money. But it is nice to know that we can upgrade. Is anybody else selling anything else? No. Just this guy. Oh, what's this? Bullet exchange. You can use your military grade bullets, which must be the ones we're using for currency. Uh, at bullet, at exchange kiosk to purchase more ammo for other weapons. Okay. So we can get some more ammo for our pistol. Okay. And that costs six. 
six each, or six for six? Hard to sell. Buy six. Okay, so every time we spend six, we're getting six bullets. Um, let's just buy one more round. There we go. We're down to 18. That's okay. We don't have a gun that can use those bullets yet, so we're, we'll hold off. I have the best selection of perfect customer satisfaction. All right. Where's your gear? Go to the armory and get geared up. I will. This is the armory, I'm assuming. Maybe, perhaps. Hello, guys. I'm on my way to the armory. What do you make of that new guy? He seems completely incompetent. A new guy, huh? As if you were born a soldier. Anyone can learn anything. No, only if you're cut out for it. Mm. If not, you'll be a cleaner or a loader for the rest of your days. Yes, yeah, so... Hands, got ahead? <laughs> here's your gun and go, go, go. That Never might be fear, true. It's the same old story. Yeah. So you could train anyone to do anything up to a certain point, right? I think they're both right and wrong. So some people are more adept at certain skills, like shooting guns, and some people... But you could train people. As this guy said, you can train someone to do it, basically anything uh, with enough training. Hello, Here we go. You need some weapons? Yeah. Okay, let's take a look. I need anything you got. Submachine gun, 5.45 caliber, made in the armory. It's got poor accuracy and <laughs> overheats like hell. Great. That's why they call it a bastard gun. Sounds perfect. <laughs> let's let's take it. That's what's on offer. That's what we're gonna take. Use short bursts, Artyom. Okay. Help yourself to some ammo. Too. Short burst might have helped me in that first encounter when I uh, sprayed all my ammo and was out of bullets. Here's a universal charger to keep the battery that's, powered. That's a great universal charger. I need that in my life. I love the and technology. A gas mask. Put all, it on if you crossed any radiation hot zones. All the piece together Boy, tech. God help you go up to the surface. So hot zones or going to the surface, we need a gas I need mask. Shoot first aid kits, just in case. Oh, thank you. I needed that earlier. Thank you. Okay, you're supplied, my friend. Feel free to try out your weapon on my firing range. Um. And uh, you try not to stick out your head too much. Yeah, okay? I mean, I'm not gonna find bullets over here, so I, I don't want to shoot this too much. I doubt you're gonna refill me what I spend. But let's just see here. Oh yeah. All right, short bursts. We'll keep it at that. Let's not fire off anything else. All right. And where? You think one day we could go back up to the surface? I've Let's go through here. Just the old pictures. What are we talking about, guys? Down. Soon we'll be gone too, and the monsters will inherit the earth. That's optimistic. But there were other zombies in Saint Petersburg, Minsk, Kiev. People might have survived somewhere else, or at least for a while. But seven years have passed now, and we've heard nothing from them. The other cities didn't have defense rings like Moscow did. What a great city it was, St. Petersburg. The cathedral and the admiralty with its spire. I remember summer nights on Nevsky Avenue, crowds, laughter, kids with ice cream, beautiful slender girls, wow. music, and the air, sweet enough to drink. What a beautiful world we've destroyed. Jesus. I love listening to their conversations, like it's so much better than having to walk up and talk to them and work through branching dialogue trees in a totally unnatural way. Just to stand around and listen to these guys talk about how the world was, we start to get a sense of the things that happened and, and how people have reacted to it and how it has you know, really changed some people. Some people are holding on to optimism and hope down here and other people just see the bleakness of it all. Very interesting. Every All the life that's happening down here, even the... The really hard parts of it. Hey, how I'm, in, are you I'm into it, obviously. I'm good, hey, what's going on? Are we ready here? What else do we got? We can't open any of these awesome looking ammo crates. So I am checking that out, but they do seem quite unopenable. Hey, I'm as good as we can be down here. Oh, hey, we got pigs. This is great. So they probably got chickens too, I assume. Wow. Oh, hey. Well, all right, here we are. 
So you ready to move out? Um, let's go. Are you ready? Well, let's go then. You take that seat, Artyom, and you, Eugene, take this one. Did anybody forget anything? So, uh, you get your gear? Let's go, then. Hey, guys, going to Riga? Yeah, we are. Can I get a lift? Sure, but no free rides. You'll have to pull the lever sometimes. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> I can do that. <laughs> right. Let's it, go, then. Still kind of a free ride. That's funny, just your per- we, All we need is your personal energy to help us, and, and we'll then. help you. Good luck to everyone staying home, and to us, too. Boy, let's go. Good luck to us. So, are you ready to finally be somewhere else? Go, Artyomka! Free at last, huh? <laughs> well, for as long as the ride takes, anyway. Should be fun. More dangerous. Even better, right? <laughs> well, I saw eight days into the future, and it wasn't very fun. Uh, but it was plenty dangerous, it so... It was the first time I had left the safety of my home station. It troubled me that I hadn't told my stepfather the truth. Hmm. I would not be heading straight back from Riga. But Hunter was depending on me. Alright, so yeah, we're doing this without telling anybody about it, trying to get this done. Don't know if that's the smart move or not, but then again, our stepfather didn't seem to be on the same page as Hunter. Uh, so we're going to help Hunter out, and no one else needs to know what's going on, I guess. Guys, I'm going to take a short break here. Thanks for joining me. Hope you're having fun like I am, and we'll see you again soon.